cruising is not a way of life. To some, it is the meaning of life. From the moment the first Mexican American was misunderstood, he knew it was his responsibility to be understood and accepted for who he was, a person who had the honor and obligation of representing two nations respectfully and with pride. These individuals who call themselves Chicanos have also created an original culture. The Chicanos love themselves and they express that love through all forms of artistic means. The most unique form of cultural expression came to be displayed through their vehicles, which they called ranflas, but others know as lowriders. The vehicle has always been a form of freedom, in particular the freedom of movement. With the turn of the key and with a tank full of gas, one can set out to travel to see the beautiful things the world has to offer. It is only sensible to think that one would take pride in the ride. The Chicano not only did, but they furthered the expression of the self through the personalization of their cars. They were painted in iridescent colors, lowered, and they were made to hop and dance as vigorously as their owners did to jazz and boogaloo. Simply put, the better the car looked, the more chido or cooler it was. The Ranfla became an artistic form of freedom of expression for the Chicano, a most American concept. But the Chicano was misunderstood and misjudged, and they drew the undesired attention of those that distrusted them. They were placed behind bars solely for their attire and their slang. Without doubt, their unique ways excluded them of the acceptance by others, but it also developed the community. That community shared a love of cruising, and they liked nothing more than displaying to others the pride of the work they put into the rides. Taking pride in one's work, that is a concept most do not appreciate when they think about the lowrider builders. While many consider those that ride them criminals and riffraff, the fact is that nobody can build a lowrider without working hard and earnestly, nor without investing money and time. In short, the criminal has little to do with the hardworking and dedicated lifestyle of those that cruise. And cruising is now a movement and form of identification for all races, sexes, and colors of Americans. So, when someone says cruisers are no good, they insult more than the Chicano. They insult the ones who keep their noses clean, the ones who feel the responsibility to honorably represent more than themselves. Those that go through expensive pints of paint in order to find the colors that they see in their dreams. Those that cruise with the love of their life sitting next to them. They insult those that believe in the freedom of expression. They belittle those that want to let others know they are alive. Some think the cruiser's motto is low and slow, but it's probably closer to proud and in love, because they have to be proud and in love of who they are, where they're from, and of where they are now. Cruising means life, vida to them. The cruisers, especially the Chicanos, have obligations to themselves and to others. They will oblige and make it look chido.